Hello and good evening ladies and gentlemen uh, We are getting back into this hardcore survival uh, There she is and let's get going As you may remember I made the uh, Never portal and a crafting table last time We have enough diamonds left over to make a diamond pick This time we probably will uh, concentrate on breeding the cows, getting leather. Then we can go for the higher level enchantments, which what we're here for. Just collect all this coal. Up. As I said last episode, coal always comes in handy. Have we got any? We have got wheat. Let's get straight to it. That's still okay from the last episode because we bred them just before leaving. I'll tell you what we'll do instead then. We shall get the chicken pen on the go, I think. Uh, we're going to need a lot more wood than this. Probably worth it in. Remember me saying about my uh, ultimate breeder and the egg harvester. Well, that is the aim for this build here. That should be enough, I think. Don't worry about that, guys. I'm gonna make an efficient. Um, Sugarcane area as well. The chicken breeder I've seen before, but the sugarcane is an invention completely of my own, and I think it works quite well. So I'll show you.
I'll like leaving these little paths around the edge then if, if you're ever caught in a bit of a bind, maybe a creeper's after you or whatnot, you can still climb up areas instead of being stuck behind a two block high wall. Fairly quickly because it's ten tonight and now I've got the bed, but Oops. Go away. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So what the side? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Perfect. Light the area up. I always put two at the side of the gate so you know where it is. Uh, middle block is about there, I think. Oh no. There. No mistake, what are you doing Chris? What are you doing? There we go. Uh, let's go make a hopper quickly. I've got any spare chests. I do not, but I've got plenty of wood. I need three chests, so one, two, three. I need to quickly run downstairs and get my iron. It's all essential. A hopper. Might as well make some ladders whilst I'm at it as well. It's perfect, actually. Okay, it's still night, so we've got to be careful. Uh, We're gonna need a. No, I'll turn them on into slabs because I'm gonna need them.
Lovely, lovely. Oh, wrong place. Into the corner. Last one. There we go. And I'll dig my entrance around the back here. take out all of them. There we go. And um, chest goes in there. The water forces the eggs into the hopper. Hopper's got five collection bars. They fill up and then it runs down into the chest. And so we're all happy. Have I got any seeds? Uh, no. Quite good because all three of them are following me at the same time. Come on, then. In you come. Last one. The water also stops them from getting out. So if I leave the gate open like that, I don't need to worry. Last chicken in. And we'll breed them. Now when they lay their eggs every five to ten minutes, I think it is or not. Oh, I don't need to scan. Uh, I think it's every three to five minutes that they will lay eggs, which you can see in here. Mm, he is trapped in that corner. Stay there. Nothing mm. I can do about that. I mm. could have sworn there was more than one egg mm. there. Mm. That didn't hatch anything. As you can see, it's already working. So you just grab the eggs, bring them up top, smash them in the water. Normally, there's a certain drop rate, you will get chips. My method of the sugar cane collection is exactly the same, there is just the one difference, which we'll see in a moment on uh, actually running around and picking them up. 
As you see in there, they fell into the water, it starts to get a bit messy, you got to hunt around in the water for them after they've dropped. You don't want to be doing that. Waste your time. And it's quite a lot of effort having to traipse through the water. And leave that one patch, like that, that two by two square in the wall because that is an infinity pool. That comes in handy. Alright, so pick your centre point. Big hole. Leave one space. And dig around it. And move out again. So you leave you one gap every time. I think that will do for the time being just because of how close I've made it towards my water source. It's just a case of levelling out the water. You don't have to get it perfectly level, it's not going to make a difference as long as the water in the area the sugar cane will still grow. Start the furthest corner, I think. As you know, we're going to need the sugar cane for making books to make uh, book shelves for going around the enchanting table and also we're going to need books. To do some enchantments. There we go. Gives me a starting block for the rest. Whoops. And again.
we go. And then we're on the outside. You can make this as wide as you want. Obviously the last one there's not going to be water all around it. There is in this corner if you've got my unlimited water source but... The rest of the corners look you can't put nothing down there. Let's check on the chickens. Three eggs. Obviously the more chickens you get in there, the more eggs that will be produced. And the easier it becomes to breed them. do that it probably doesn't make a blind bit of difference having that there but I like to think that in having the hay bale there yeah animals age quicker as in terms of going from calf to cow Hopefully the cows are a bit happier like that. Right. Mm. 
Not that I've got any seeds, but... Chess, I think. and no chickens. Do now. I suppose I could go and turn the strip mine area into a proper area because at the moment it's quite basic. was in the right place. See I'm all confused because normally I, I've got a certain way of setting this out. But as you can see it's all over the place. So I came down here at the end of the last episode and just dug. Yeah there. Furnaces will go there. So go through that one. 
this one here. So I can be blocked up. Chest can come out of there. These two mines are in the wrong place because of it. It's not far off being right, but it's not how I'd normally have it, as uh, I've just said. So that's how it normally be, this side here. So you go mine furnaces, mine steps, mine furnaces, mine. Turn around here. Yeah, then it'd be mine chest, mine chest, mine, then back wall, mine furnaces, mine chest, mine furnaces. And you normally come around here and it'd be mine chest, mine, chest, mine. But as I've already strip mined these two, I'm not going to change that side over. So instead I'll go like that. Light the whole place back up. Normally, I'd have all of the furnaces firing at the same time whilst I was making uh, uh, use them for the production of the stone for my castle. Or whatever building I decided was going to be my home. Do a bit of mine in this direction here. And the way it works out, you're more likely to find you 
you, you're better off using iron pickaxes until you find diamonds than use just diamond pickaxes when strip mining because you're bound to come across that many diamonds that you'll be able to replace your pickaxe if it breaks just gotta remember to every now and again go back to the center room get rid of any stone you've got just any crap in general put your diamonds safe and away you go again that my friends after I've been in got my golden iron burning I think we will call that a night day afternoon evening depending what time you're watching this got plenty of iron on the go, got 15 gold to so be able to make a um, golden apples that's the one I'm going to quickly feed the well, excuse me, feed the cows to get them breeding, check on how many eggs we've got, and then that would do it for the night, day, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching, like so. Eight eggs that time, and for some reason I put my Another one's just gone in there. There we go, we've got a chick. See, that's the way it works. Like I say, the more chickens we get in there, the more eggs they're going to produce, the more eggs they produce, the more you can hatch them. Constant food source. And as you can see, the sugar cane is on the go. I think over 64 sugar canes were planted and you get three on each one obviously you take off the top two and leave the bottom one in so you double in what you originally put down get rid of all this I'm going to take the steps down what's going on take the steps down there and get rid of them as well because they come in handy as a little bit of decorative because you may or may not know um, you can't open a chest with a block above it steps however don't count as a full block so you can do that you can get your chest double stacked and they will still open which always comes in handy and make me some more furnaces I need four sixteen will be more than enough Chests go in there, chests go in here. Jobs are good on, and there will be a chest here as well. 
which eventually all my iron, gold, diamonds and whatnot will be going into. Just throw all them in there for now. I do put in chests the different stuff I mine. You could make this, you know, like I say, you can make it as big as you want. I have in the past gone another mine across, so that would have been more chests than the mine, than the back wall. Uh, just so there's plenty of mines to go around, uh, not plenty of mines, plenty of chests to go around. You got loads of space here to do whatever. So, ladies and gentlemen, that will be me calling it a night. Salutations and good night.